Lewis Pippolin is the king of the birds, John Brown. I'm here with Voice the 5'9. I came for the show support. I just got in town yesterday. I got to finish up with Brain. The album is called Ski Up. It's in stores in the spring. We got two videos out right now on the viral tip. One joint produced by Brain called Shake This. We got another joint produced by Carlos Tony called Pardon Me. Shot the video. They just buzz and lift, you know what I'm saying? I think once I wrap up everything as far as creatively with the album, we're going to figure out what, what, what one song we want to run with. What do you think is you know, the main positive or negative aspects of you know, the current state of hip-hop? I can pick with the negatives all day. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, from people not trying hard enough lyrically to sales being down, people making a bunch of excuses. I think the positives are just, if you're smart and you know what you're doing, continue to make money without having to compromise your sound and what you do and what your natural lane is. Which is myself and Joey, Royal Ortiz, you crooked eye. We live in proof of that. Your advice to young artists, you know, that are new in the game and trying to, you know, have a career that has longevity. I think it's just about staying consistent. You know, it's real easy to fall off and lose touch. You know, you gotta, you gotta stay listening to what's going on. Whether you like it or not. If you hear what's going on, I'm listening. You know, if you laying it down and you're putting it out, I'm hearing it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm able to hear that and base what I'm doing and compare it to that. And I'm able to keep putting it out and keep staying consistent on every project. No different from, you know, LL Cool J. You know, they on another level, of course, but LL Cool J, Jay Z, guys like that, they stay around because they keep their ear to the streets and they can stay consistent. So I just keep trying to stay consistent. Detroit hip hop scene, you know, particularly is kind of one of the main things in Detroit. That, you know, Detroit, Detroit is more unified right now than ever. You know, like as far as Detroit is concerned, it's one alliance there. Nothing else matters. You know what I'm saying? Like we control everything. We control who fly there. We control everything. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the only city. We the only city that can do that. We don't want you to come. You ain't coming. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it's, it's from the music to the streets. It's the same thing. You know what I'm saying? So, I think as far as the Detroit rap scene, it's the exact same as the streets, the unit. Somebody's beefing with somebody, myself and a few other main dudes, Trick Trick, my man Wine, we get together. Oh, it's fun. It's one Detroit dude, we get some other Detroit dude, we end it. And if you don't want to end it, we're going to end y'all. You know what I'm saying? So we can keep our legacy going. I'm here with the one and only Joel Ortiz. Yeah, I'm here. Boy, Joel Ortiz, one call to the slaughterhouse. It's John Brown. This is what we do, nigga. Hip hop. Right now, I'm just finishing up my album, Free Agent. I'll be dropping it with Kaj in August. I don't know exactly what date yet. And I'm finishing up my mixtape, The Free Agent, which I'll be dropping next month. So, outside of doing that, I'm doing shows and shit, running around with these brothers across the fucking nation, trying to get it popping. And that's what I'm doing. Uh, give everybody advice. Why? I mean, Brian, I'm do everything. Humble yourself, hand out your music. If there's a show with a 10 people in attendance, you rock it like it's a million. If a mixtape artist, a mixtape DJ is just starting, you, you treat his mixtape like you would treat a popular DJ. Do everything because in this game, you, until you're someone, you're no one. And even when you're someone, you become no one the next day. Remain humble and work hard.